Steve, I'd like to ask about Clay Thompson and what looked like was going to be a, a frustrating game, his fourth quarter, where he came through with a really big three and then those free throws at the end. Yeah, it was great to see. It was a it was a struggle uh, for much of the night, but that's kind of who Clay is in terms of um, you know hitting big shots, big free throws. Uh, that's the kind of confidence he plays with, even even on a, on a night when things aren't going well. Uh, he's he's got the ability to step up and make the the shot of the game. This wasn't the smoothest homestand overall, but you know you kind of come out of it six and one. Is that just maybe credit to the defense overall? I mean, it does seem to kind of just be there every night for you guys. Yeah, you know the defense has been much more consistent than the offense for sure. And uh, you know if you play if you play good defense, you have a chance every night, and and we've always felt that way. And um, I think that's you know that's that's been the case um, for a long time. Um, and and I'm really proud of the group, you know, to to play this well defensively without Draymond. Um, pretty impressive, you know. Uh, Draymond is, uh, as we know, our engine and uh, you know the best defender, not only on our team but I think in the league. So to withstand his absence and still maintain a, a pretty good defensive mindset and uh, and the the, uh, the work that it takes to hold a team like Brooklyn under 40% shooting. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's very impressive. So love the, uh, love the effort, love the guts that it took to win the game. Speaking of defense, uh, the Nets went one for 10 when contested by Andrew. What can you just say about his individual defense? Yeah, Andrew was phenomenal tonight. Three blocks, I think, and uh, uh, three steals um, all over the place uh, defensively. And then on offense, he was um, our most consistent player kind of carried us in the first half and uh, he's just playing with, with uh, amazing confidence and um, showing, you know, why he's an all-star. Even shorthanded. I mean, the other guys like Andrew and Otto and Jordan were able to really carry the team until Steph and Clay got, got going there in the fourth. What does that again, just say about the talent and the depth of this team? Well, you have to have that. You you have to have guys come off the bench and and be able to uh, perform. And you know, we were shorthanded tonight. Uh, you know, without Belly and and uh, just ten guys available. And uh, we really needed the, the spark that that Jordan gave us. Um, you know, he, he had six assists and no turnovers along with the uh, the scoring off the bench. So I thought I thought Jordan was great. It, it looks like he's really settling into his uh, six man role, doing a great job. Steve, are you a little surprised even by the fact that they defended so well these past few games without Draymond and Andre? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, I, I, you know, obviously without both those guys, we're, we're missing so much defensively. But, uh, you know, Mike Brown's done a great job uh, this year with the defense. And uh, we've added some, some guys who are uh, excellent defenders. I mean, Gary Payton, Otto Porter is totally underrated. Uh, such a good player. He's a plus 22 in the game tonight. Always in the right spot at both ends. Uh, and I, I just think, um, you know, the continuity that we have with Loon, uh, with Wiggs, and now adding adding the new guys, we're able to withstand, uh, you know, the absences of uh, Andre and, and Draymond. And, and how would you describe Wiggins' first quarter where he had 14 points Six rebounds, three assists, or three steals, three blocks, just kind of all or two of each. I mean, all over yeah. the place. All star starter type stuff. Steve, the, the other night, Looney, it, with the foul trouble, wasn't able to get in maybe quite as good of a flow uh, and a tough, tough assignment with Town, Townsend. Um, tonight, he looked like right back in his element and getting all the rebounds that you, you needed from him and doing a little bit of everything. Yeah, he's had a, a great, great season. Uh, he's our only guy who's played in every game. And uh, Loon has been uh, just really, really consistent uh, all season long. So uh, we're, we're, we're lucky to have him. And I, I'm really happy for him that, that he's healthy and, and having such a great year. Steph was, you know, shaking his right hand at times, not his left hand at times. Obviously, I think he got cut on the shin. Um, as we're all kind of searching for, for for reasons that his shooting percentage is down, where where do you think he's at physically right now? And is there any issues he's dealing with that maybe haven't been revealed? Well, he, he's told me he feels great physically. Um, we've talked a lot about 
the schedule and, and uh, the minutes. And, um, you know, so I, I'm, I'm really, you know, aware of um, what needs to happen in terms of monitoring his minutes and, and uh, when we can push him a little harder when we can't. Uh, I talk to Rick about it all the time as well. And uh, I think he's in a good place, you know, physically. I think um, he's going to be fine. I know uh, this is a question that I'm going to keep getting if, if he's not shooting the ball well, but uh, I'm not worried about him. I'm just not. He's, he's, uh, he's Steph Curry. So um, one of the great players of all time, and he's, he's one of the great players in the game today. And, uh, you know, he's he had a tough night tonight, but the uh, guy helps us helps us win routinely and, and does so much beyond just, uh, just making shots. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll come around for him. I just wanted to ask you quick about it kind of was the play that sealed it. Although Kyrie's three, uh, made it interesting, but just that pick and pop with, with Clay and Steph, how good was it to see that action work in that moment? Yeah. Clay just, uh, broke free and, and, and made a, huge shot. I mean, I think it was a one point game at that point and uh, typical clay, you know, he was one for seven from three at that point and yet wasn't phased, um, you know, just stepped right up and and knocked down the, the shot of the game and then made two free throws after that. So uh, it's great to see it is, I think important too, for clay to uh, feel those big moments, you know, it's been two and a half years. So, you know, it's one thing to, step into a, you know the regular season and play some minutes and you know get his legs underneath him it's another thing to have the ball in his hands with the game on the line and and you can see didn't didn't bother him one bit oh feel at the end of the game there felt amazing it really did it really did i missed that feeling so it felt absolutely amazing beyond just emotionally how it felt i mean steve kind of mentioned that you you know getting in those moments and feeling those moments could probably help you know your game moving forward i mean do you feel like that too oh yeah big time oh yeah it's been a feeling i haven't had in a couple of years so anytime you make big shots or stops down the stretch it's gonna give, do wonders for your confidence You've kind of had a sideline seat for a while and now been playing, uh, just looking at this defense and now being part of this defense. I mean, it's number one in the league. It's sustained really with Draymond out. Um, you've been a part of a lot of good defense. Like, what just can you explain what you think has so, been so steady about this defense? I think our length and versatility. we got a lot of big, big players who have great switchability and – we play really hard. We got a lot of dogs on that side of the ball. I mean, guys who historically probably didn't get the credit, whether it be Otto or Loon or whoever, but they're all great defenders. I mean, I think Gary should be a all defense player this year. Same with Andrew. Andrew's been so you saw what he did tonight, just his shot blocking ability and his ability to guard everybody. You guys put this win streak together at home. I mean, obviously you came home wanting to sort of get well. What do you think, in addition to the defense, what do you think has come together during these last few games? Uh, I think I'm figuring out how to play play well with these guys and vice versa. It's hard to simulate that when you're on the sideline watching. So to get some, get some game time under our belt and rally off some home wins, uh, it's been awesome. How good was it to see your teammates sort of fill in tonight when you and Steph were struggling oh, early man. on? Strength in numbers, still alive and well. So I was telling Steph that, like, we had a not a subpar shooting night, and to see these guys go in there and play so well and move the ball and be aggressive, that it gives us life. And, and Andrew, what do you think of Andrew play tonight? I mean, Andrew's on a path to be an all-NBA player the way he affects the game on both sides. I mean, knocking down threes, tip dunking, blocking shots, three steals, incredible. Clay, watching watching Gary Payton play defense and and I guess all the little things he does at, while while you were sidelined, what what did you learn from from watching him, and what do you most appreciate about what he's done for you guys this season? Well, I learned that defense is hereditary, passed <laughs> down from pops. You know, I love seeing his dad play growing up on the Sonics. And 
I just learned that, I mean, Gary's incredible. I mean, he leads the league in dunks as a guard and then his ability to defend, it's what a find for us. You've had plenty of battles with Kyrie over the years. Um, is it good to, you know, get back on this stage? And does it feel a little bit like old times when you're out there guarding? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we came in the league together and Kyrie's one of the greats. I mean, you saw it tonight. Uh, started off the game cold, but my goodness, he got hot and just a one of one of one talent. Andrew, what was your um, mentality from the outset? Because obviously you had a dynamite first quarter. You had a dynamite first quarter. What was your mentality from the outset? Come out aggressive, you know, come out aggressive um, and try to play good defense, try to make it hard on, you know, Kyrie and, you know, just help the team win. Steph and Clay were kind of cold early. Um, you know, you mentioned coming out aggressive, but it seemed like you really ticked that up like mid first quarter. I mean, do you – view that as, as partly your role sometimes like if those guys are off it's like when you really need to ratchet it up um you know shot saying falling you know we have a lot of guys on the team that can you know that can you know make it happen um and I feel like part of my job is you know to go out there defend and you know play good offensively put, put the ball in the bucket um so that's what I did so you want to put the ball in the bucket, but defensively, I think when you were the primary defender, you held the Nets to one of 10 shooting. I mean, you've said how much you enjoy taking on the number one assignment defensively, mm -hmm. but particularly in Draymond's absence and Andre's absence, how just important has it been for you to bring that defensive presence? Um, It's been important. You know, it's, like I said, it's something I pride myself on. Um, I love the challenge. Um, I love the competitiveness. You know, especially when it's against, you know, another team's, you know, superstar. You know, I love it. You know, I love to take on the challenge. And, you know, obviously we have Draymond, the anchor of our defense, Al, Andre, you know, who's, you know, great defensive basketball mind and player, you know, so everyone has to step up and, you know, fill in the shoes. So Clay came in here and he said that you um, are playing at an all NBA level at both ends. Mm -hmm. Yet when you won, when you got the all-star starting assignment, there was people coming out of the woodwork saying, oh, well, you know, did you hear that noise? And, and just what do you think of that? Oh, I mean, you know, you hear it, but you know, I came, I came a long way. Uh, I had a lot of ups and downs and, you know, I come in here, I hope I go home, play with my kids and my daughter and sleep in that order, <laughs> you know? So like I said, I just, I just hoop, you know, I don't really worry about the, about the outside mess. Um, I'm just gonna keep getting better. You know, everyone's gonna have something to say, but it's just motivation to you know keep doing it, keep growing, and just getting better. Why do you think that you know you mentioned earlier the people stepping up, but why do you think the defense has been so stable, so good, pretty much every night, despite who's in the lineup, who's out, or what's going on? Um, you know, team chemistry. You know, we trust each other. Um. And, you know, every, every, every game, you know, we have a game plan and, you know, guys are executing that game plan, you know, defensively. This is kind of random, but do you know who Bam Bam is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what do you think of that whole thing? Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. You know, he's a very popular guy and, you know, he helped me get a, a ton of votes. So thanks. Did you know who he was until, you know, January 7th when he, before January 7th when he sent out that tweet? I didn't, but now I'll never forget him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's when you, when you're missing someone like Draymond? Does that how does that change your mind? Does it change your mindset at all? Defensively, um, it doesn't change my mindset. Uh, every game, my mindset is to go out there and defensively, you know, just disturb the other team. You know, do what I can to make it hard for him. You know, when Draymond's out there, it just makes everyone's job easier. You know, Draymond's all over the floor. You know, defensively guarding one through five, getting charges, blocking shots, every steals, everything. So, following up, I guess, Andrew, do, are you into K pop? Not yet. I'll give it a chance, though. <laughs> Especially Bam Bam. <laughs> Thank you.